Right, so this is once you're inside the car. This is actually the chassis. You sit below the chassis. Um, it is quite wide. So that's the main problem of getting in and out of these cars, like early Lotuses. There's a big, huge aluminium chassis that you sit under. Um, it has your three pedals, five-speed gearbox, um, your well, heater buttons, knobs that um, for the asthmatic heater, JVC head unit. I do have um, remotes for that too. I've got two of them. But you're so close to everything anyway. Um, these things wind up windows. Um, you know, again, you reach both sides in this car. Um, you sit very close. There's the cup holder. You can't actually driving. You can't actually access it because you've almost got to turn around in your seat. Um, yep. I have a just a dash cam. It records at the back too. And if I I'll do the start up and then show you it because it goes to reverse as well. But anyway, here's the start up. Oh, you've got your um, light switch buttons here. So here's the start up. Um, the lights will go out like that then you press the start button here um, there we go handbrakes on of course still so that's why the park lights up there just to prove that I'll take the handbrake off we're on a flat um, and the seatbelt light over here which is this. I don't think other cars have that. I think that's a Japanese thing. A um, few Japanese things in here, like the dashboard's 100% kilometres, not kilometres and miles like European cars. Um, the footrest is adjustable, although the passenger seat is not. Steering wheel is not adjustable at all. The driver's seat is. Um, yes it is as you can see just enough right now we're running i'll put it up here and you see you've got two cameras on at the moment and when i flick it into reverse we'll go into reverse camera um, the mirror basically as you can see blocks most of your vision um, yeah anyway there we go. Thank you.